You're welcome to the review of Open Heavens Daily Devotional today, 27th of September 2022. And we're looking at a topic that says, He can control the uncontrollable. He can control the uncontrollable. Who is this He? What's the uncontrollable? We'll find out in a moment, but let us pray. Our Father, we exalt your most holy name. We say thank you for this opportunity to study your word. We believe and we know that you can control the uncontrollable and we ask that you please do that for our sakes and for our listeners as well. In Jesus' name, Amen. You're welcome once again is the review of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional and we're studying a topic that says He can control the uncontrollable. Our Bible reading is taken from Psalm 135. Psalm 135 verse 1 to 12. Because of time, we won't be reading the entire scripture. Well, it's a scripture you should read. It describes how great God is, how we ought to praise Him, the wonderful works that He has done, what He does in the lives of people. And I pray that indeed, as we praise God today, He will do wonderful things in our lives. He will turn around things that seem uncontrollable. He will control them for our sake in Jesus' name. Now, our memory verse is taken from Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1, Proverbs 21, 1. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whatsoever he will. God turns around whatsoever he pleases, even up to the heart of the king. If God can control the hand, the king here represents the highest, of, the highest authority God has placed, I mean, in terms of human leadership. And if God can control the heart of kings, then who then can't he control? Might it be your boss? Might it be some person who... Might it be a visa officer? What might it be that you're looking to do? God can control them in your favor. You know, as our Father in the Lord mentions here, that our memory verses that the hearts of kings are in the hands of God and He can turn them how He pleases. So He can turn things around for you in your favor as he pleases. You know, he shared an interesting story of how RCCG was looking to get registered in a foreign country. And they were told that, oh, they wouldn't register you because they're a Pentecostal church. And the church did get registered, but that was even, that's not even where the story ended. After a while, the church was looking to do something else in the country and they were told by the officials of that particular agency that, oh, we, you can't do this because you are not registered and they said, well, we are registered and when RCCG produced the registration documents, they were shocked, like, how, when did we register you? He's saying that, and we can see clearly that God can do these things in our favor, up to the point that you would have been favored, God's will would have been done and then everybody will start wondering, how did we promote him? How did we give him this project? How was he given this opportunity? But because the favor of the Lord will be upon you, the favor of the Lord will be upon us, then we can break all forms of protocol. He will break all forms of protocol for our sake, for the sake of his children in Jesus' name. However, there's a twist to this. Because yes, Romans 8.28, Romans 8.28 says that all things will work together for good for them that love God and are called according to his purpose. However, if you do not love him, if you're working at variance with his will, if you're not aligned with the will of God at that moment, you can't expect God to control the uncontrollable for you. As a matter of fact, at that moment, you should expect him to work against you because any kingdom divided against itself would not stand. He, the Lord will not support activities or a plan or a vision that is not going to build up his kingdom. So are you aligned with the Lord? Are you aligned with his vision for your life? Question, your answer to this would determine if indeed God will control things for you. And ultimately, he owns the, the, the powers to open the gates of heaven unto you or the gates of hell. So which would you want? Do you want him to open the gates of heaven or you want him to open the gates of hell to you? If you want the gates of heaven, all you have to do is align with his will. Surrender totally to the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask him to forgive your trespasses. Ask him to cleanse your sins away with his blood. And if you've said that prayer, congratulations to you. The gates of heaven will be open unto you when your time is up or when Christ comes to take his children. And he would 
control the uncontrollable for you and things will come to your favor in Jesus' name. Amen. I leave you with this point that says, God is the one in control of everything. Befriend him today so that he can, also that all can be well with you. Thank you for listening and God bless you.